Welcome back to The Masked Singer and our epic road to the finale, where tonight, this Who Sung It will finally be solved. Since she first hit the stage, Flamingo has clearly had one leg up on the competition. Let's get the inside info on her bright pink path to our finale. Hey, hey, hey. They call me help. They call me sexy. I became the Flamingo because it's fun and sassy and we both live that cha-cha life. Flamingo, she was so cute and energetic and just spicy. She had hot sauce in her bag. It's like a cha-cha flamingo. I've come to bring joy and energy to that stage, but this is about so much more. I actually have a fear of performing live because I hate the sound of my own voice. I feel like it sounds like a child. I'm here to overcome my insecurities head on. You wouldn't know any of that from her first time on stage. I was so scared, I was shaking under those feathers, but there was no turning back. Flamingo, don't be nervous, you can kill it! We go together. Oh my god. Better oh. the birds of a feather, you and me. I've been dancing on top of cars and stumbling out of bars. Maybe you know it's obvious. I'm a sucker for all. Her voice is pitch perfect. I mean, she has the energy, she has the charm, she's connecting with the audience. She has the goods to win it all. I'm a sucker for all. on that song. Woo, I actually did it. It was a huge relief, but I swear going in, I never imagined my baby voice would get me past the first episode. And the winner is Flamingo! Congratulations, Flamingo! I'm in shock and awe, people. Shock and awe. I'm just proud of myself for having the courage to get out there and sing. Flamingo's confidence continued to grow. And in week six, she went from bringing the fun to bringing the feels. I'm trying to hold my breath. Let it stay this way. Can let this moment end. Performing Never Enough for me was definitely the biggest turning point. To stand there and let my voice stand alone, which is what I hate the most, was life-changing. All the shine of a thousand spotlights All the stars we steal from the night sky Will never be enough Never be enough For me never, never. Walking down those stairs, I was transformed. My self-doubt disappeared and I just went for it. incredibly moving, so touching. I just wanted to crawl in bed and weep and eat a pint of ice cream and be like, I love you, Flamingo. <laughs> Best performance by far, I think, of the show Aww. yet. Yeah. That's how much I love that. I literally was crying underneath my mask when I finished. I can never get enough of being on this show, to be honest. I feel like I was in a cage, and now I'm breaking free, and I can't wait for everyone to hear my voice again. And in week eight, our free bird really let loose and let her feathers fly.
favorite performance from Flamingo would definitely be uh, Lady Marmalade. Uh, the vocals were great, the whole stage production was great. It was outstanding. with joy. People actually like my voice. My message to my friend friends is never give up. I have given up on myself and look at me, I am having a complete rebirth as a flamingo. She knows the competition is stiff, so she's like, oh, y'all wanna play? She's like, I'm gonna bring it. I'm here to win. I'm so close. But do you think the panel's close to figuring out who she is? From her attitude, it reminded me of Tia Maori. She's got that same sass I've seen on the reel. Allie Brooke, maybe, from Fifth Harmony. Maybe Ashley Tisdale. Adrian Bailon. Right? Am I right? Naya Rivera from Glee. That was good. Thank you, that Joel. That was good. Uh, you know, I'm still stuck on uh, Candy Burris. The voice sounds very familiar. I can see her face when she's singing. She's pink. Yeah. She's pink. She's <laughs> singer pink. She's pink. Do you think any of them are right? Here's some help as we dive into her clues. What's up, everyone? We saw her on her ZooTube channel where she mentioned beauty and fashion. She said she's a Hollywood triple threat who's danced, sung, and acted. Does that match with your guess? And it seems she's a worldly bird based on these clues. We saw the Eiffel Tower and Taj Mahal. She spoke in Spanish. Adios mio. And last week gifted us this globe. Was baptized in Israel, America. Who do you think I am? Hmm. You're never gonna guess.